What is family? This is Show Far from Fo Show Energy Work and Fo Show Health. And I'm here to speak to you today about the heart rate and orgasmicness, about how our body responds or responds to pleasure. And so before we even go into it, the first thing I want to say is that orgasm is not something that you do. Orgasm is not something that you do. Orgasm is something that you be, you know, it's something that you be. Uh, to be said differently, uh, to for a person, especially for the feminine, for a female, for a womb being, for you to say that you uh, want to have a orgasm is like a river saying it wants to have a flow. Either a river flows or it's not a river. Ashe? And so the same thing with orgasmicness is with the feminine energy, that is its nature. So if there's anything causing to it to not flow, causing it not to be able to be in its natural nature, those are the things that we want to talk about today. All right, so, and how does that relate to the heart rate? All right, so the first thing let's talk about is orgasmicness or being orgasmic. Again, being in the flow state. You've heard people talk about that when it comes to athletics or uh, different performers. Uh, same thing is like when we are in our flow state, when we are in deep touch with our feminine in a, in a balance with the masculine energy, uh, then we are in a state of orgasmics. Once we bring our awareness to the fact that breath itself is orgasmic. Breath itself is orgasmic. Our body is always in a mild state of orgasm due to the fact that it is just fucking happy to be alive. And so when we talk about that orgasmicness, let's talk about as it relates to the heart. The heart rate, a couple of things to break down on that. First off, the word heart. You've heard me say ad nauseum uh, that the word earth, you take the H and put it at the front, is now heart. The word heart has heat in it. The word rate heart has ra in it, dealing with the sun god. The ancient Egyptian or people of Kemet's name for that force that we call the sun, ra. So we look at heart rate. And when we look at the heart is our own ra. It is our ability to give off an, uh, an electromagnetic force that causes things to move, that causes life to go out, the life force to go into something. People say, that, say for instance, like if we're talking, but we don't really, we're not talking from a place of our heart, then there's no heat with it. There's no passion. There's no energy, no inner chi with that, right? So when we speak from the heart, we're putting our heat, our heart, our heat into that energy, into that form of expression same thing when you do the word when you when you make something when you make some some art notice how the word art is in heart so when we say that something increases the heart rate it is something that is increasing the loving or the energy flow the passion of life many of us don't have passion in the bedroom because we are in got our minds in the board room and on work in these other tasks and things and chores, uh, uh, different things that we have to do that are not, that our heart energy is not really in. So one of the things to increase the heart rate, to increase the orgasmicness is to really take a good look, introspection, to again, vibrate. Notice how the word vibrate has the word rate in it. If we want to increase our heart rate, we have to look at what is causing our vibration, our rate of vibration to go up? Again, you've heard me talk about it before too. Voice, introspection, breath, and embodiment. So these are the different tools that we can use that we can put our heart into. The average heart at rest is about 60 to 100 beats per minute is what we've been told. And now when we're at orgasm, the average heartbeat is about 140 at 140 uh, beats per minute. Notice the word beats and breath, breath and beats, uh, that there's a correlation there too, because the increase in breath, you know, like doing the pranayama or the fire breath, right? It increases the heart rate. So here's the thing. 
if we want to have a peak orgasm, meaning one and done, and we then you go up, but as surely as you go up, you're going to come back down into the valley. What about being able to orgasm or going to an orgasmic state without the peak in the heart rate? That is the state of what we call ESR, expanded central response. So being able to go into a wave like or like uh, like we like to say, going into that that water element, right? Going into that ozone, the the orgasmic zone, right? With the increase of breath, and then being in an orgasmic state, that is going to keep you at having waves of orgasm over and over again, rather than just a tidal wave peaking and crashing up against the rocks, getting your rocks off, crashing against the rocks and being done. Another thing to speak on is the heart rate, a thing called heart rate variability. The changes in the heart rate from beat to beat that can be useful, a useful indicator of sexual arousal and orgasmic potential in both men and womb beings. So what we want to do in order to have a heart rate variability from my own experience is that you want to have different, uh, unique, uh, you know, experiences in a moment. In other words, bring your presence, your essence into each new moment, each moment of time. What am I saying? The word heart also has here in it to hear deeper, to see deeper, to, you know, to uh, feel, smell, all of these things, all of these things that the senses are giving to us help increase the variability, the rate of our heart. In other words, what I'm saying is when you see a different color, you have to know that it's affecting your heart rate variability. If you keep seeing or putting on the same things and keep having the same conversations and keep doing the exact fucking same thing, your heart rate isn't going to have any little bit of variability in it. But if you, every time we expose ourselves to nuances and nuances, new things, then the heart rate is just a little bit different. You bring that to yourself and then you bring that to your lover as well. The next thing to speak on is exorcise. Not exercise, we'll talk about that in a second. Exorcise, like exorcism. Notice how those two words, exorcise and exercise, are very similar. They, some say it's the, a way of getting or casting out demons, right? But what are our own inner demons? It doesn't have to be something with horns and a pitchfork. It is those things, it's those self-doubts, those self-defeating, the disenchantment, the depression, the anger. These are the different things, the demons, so to speak, that are decreasing our heart rate or increasing it to the point where you burn shit up. You don't want to be too hot or too cold. We want to be at a good rate of vibration in order to have that rate. See, if we, if our emotions are, are if we're used to being in an orgasmic, I mean, an emotional state where we're amped up all the time, or either our, either our energy is depressed all the time, we're not going to be able to maintain a nice, steady ESR, expanded central response. So in order to be able to have that, we have to learn how to exorcise our demons. Also, if we want to be able to have just empathetic uh, orgasms, that's meaning being able to just feel each other, to be able to feel your lover. That's how you start to get into the touchless orgasms, everything, is being able to feel even without touching. That comes through in part through exorcism. And of course, different technologies like yoga and Qigong help us do that. So with that right here, let's just take a moment before we go into the, the other uh, things and let's take three deep breaths together. And if you're like wanting right now to fast forward and hear what the next thing is, I invite you to take a moment, slow down your heart rate for a second, be present in your body, And let's breathe together. Breathe in. And you can slowly close your eyes. Breathe in. And out. Breathe in. And out. 
Breathe in. And out. Slowly open your eyes. The next thing is exercising, exercising. So one of the healthy ways to increase our heart rate is to exercise. The thing about the exercising is when you get used to it, you are carrying in your auric field now. You've taken in a healthy way, in a controlled way, you've taken your heart rate up in a place where you are moving energy through your body, making your body more defined and everything, right? So one thing that that does for you is that even when your heart rate normalizes, you're now still carrying the energy of the faster heart rate. So just someone else being in your presence, you can increase their heart rate. Just by being in your presence, you've been carrying that energy of increasing your breathing rate and breathing faster. And now, even though you're slowing and going back to quote unquote normal, you're still carrying that energy in your auric field. I hope that makes sense. And then the other thing is just having a nicer, having your body at its optimum or having our bodies uh, functional and ready for sexual and sensual encounters increases the heart rate of others. And so that's it, y'all. I just want to give you all a few things uh, to, to take into your own introspection uh, about the connection between heart rate and orgasmicness. And again, remembering that orgasmicness, orgasmicness is a state of flow. And uh, if you like this, if you want to go deeper into these things, if you want some actual practices using the breath, using move, uh, movement to get the energy to move through the body, check out my Patreon. On my Patreon, I'll be going deeper into this uh, heart rate and orgasmic connection. And if you just want to support the channel too, a brother appreciates you. And again, I'm so far from Fo Show Energy Work and Fo Show Health. Uh, I do energy work, me and my lady for, with couples and singles. I also have a book, Sacred Orgasmic Living. And if you like this print that I have on, check that out. Check her out. Absoda. If you like the, the, the print that I have out, you can check out the links down below. I have two t-shirt companies, which one is Fo Show Royalty going into the royalty, the inspire that divinity, and then also full show swag, a uh, little hip hop and humor for you. And uh, lastly, you can check the links down below because uh, we also always have some online or in-person workshops. We're going to do another hip hop Kundalini coming up soon. And uh, I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for coming through and keep your heart rate up and keep that S-E-X in your life. Keep shining, keep evolving and do so exponentially oneness